Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for today's video. This is kind of a recap of uh, my monthly makeup bag and how it went for the month of September. I've never done like a monthly like makeup bag. I usually pull, like I'll go through my makeup collection and pull things that I want to use the next day or maybe for the week, but I had never done like a month worth of like, let me pull a couple items and use just these things for an entire month. And I have to say, I really enjoyed it. And so because I like project painting, but I don't have any projects going on because we moved, I decided to keep track of how I used my products and if I used all the shades in a certain palette. And so it was so much fun. And I have to say, I enjoyed this so much. So enough rambling, and I'm sorry if I sound funny. I'm, I'm trying to, to battle the, the rest of this cold, but we're just gonna jump in and talk about the products that I pulled for the month of September, and I'm gonna go in order of the way I do my makeup. So I always do my eyeshadow first, and so the most used palette for me this month was my Norvita palette. I used it nine times, which doesn't seem like a lot, but for me it was, <clears throat> excuse me, especially when I consider that I have, I'm filming another game day series or game day look series and a lot of days I don't want, I don't want to be the kind of person who always has to like do their eyeshadow, wipe it off, do another look. If I can do my eyeshadow and enjoy it a full day, I, I like to do that. So um, when I was filming other looks or uh, for looks for those videos, I would wear other palettes. So nine times for me while also filming, you know, two or three videos a week uh, was nice. So um, I'm very drawn to, I think the reason why I wore this palette so much is because it does offer sh so many shimmers and I just, I really enjoy shimmers on my lid. And so I, I really enjoyed this palette. I think it's beautiful. I actually really am surprised. Like I thought I would be more drawn to the pink and the purple because sometimes I like a little bit more loud uh, color options, but I actually really enjoyed the more neutral tones in here too. I really enjoyed it. I did end up using all of the shades in this palette and my most worn shade was Volatile. My next most worn palette was Modern Renaissance and I wore this eight times and it's beautiful. Again, I did not wear all the shades. I didn't wear Venetian Red, not because I don't like that shade, but just because I, I, I guess I didn't really have a, an opportunity to wear a lot of red eyeshadow, but I, I definitely want to pull this again soon, sometime during fall again, because I think that these colors are beautiful, they're very fall, fall appropriate, and I can definitely see myself pulling and actually using those, those red and berry tone shades. The last palette was my Subculture palette, and I did not use all the shades in here. I only wore this palette, uh, sorry, looking at my notes, I only wore this palette five times. But for me, <clears throat> I'm, I'm still proud of that because this palette is so beautiful. It's so fall appropriate, but at the same time, it intimidates me. I like bright colors. I'm, I can work with bright colors, but I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit scared to use these deeper colors just because they're so bold. <laughs> but I, I want to get better at it. So I did not use Destiny or Untamed. So these two green shades. I actually ended up using every shade but these two green shades even though these two green shades are actually some of my favorite like when I look at this palette I'm I really like those green shades I just didn't wear I guess a lot of green this month but I very much enjoyed this palette the most worn shade for me in this bunch was actually cube here this white it has it looks white in the pan but it has a pinky purple shift to it it's very pretty I would put that on my inner corner or on my lid like I'm wearing today. Um, I also really, really, really love all, like there's not a, there are only three shimmers in this palette, but I love all three of them, Adorn, Electric, and Cube. They're beautiful. Um, some additional items that I pulled were uh, two ColourPop Super Shock shadows in the colors Juicy Apple and Frog, and I wore Juicy Apple three times. It's a gold glitter chopper, so it was easy to wear over, especially I wore it over the Anastasia uh, Primavera shade, that gold shimmer. And so it was good to wear over that. And but so, so the thing I noticed is that like these two shimmer shades in this palette aren't that 
they are intense compared to the shimmer shades in this palette. These shimmer shades, they don't need any help. This one, I ended up being able to wear the Juicy Apple shade and then this frog shade I wore one time. I also pulled this Wet n Wild metallic eyeshadow in the shade Lara's Necklace. I didn't end up wearing this yet. Again, it's green. I don't know what it is with me in green right now, but I'm going to probably put this in next month's basket because I really want to wear it. I just didn't have a chance to yet. Moving into face products, I pulled three primers. And my most worn primer was this L'Oreal Pore Filling Primer. And I wore it 20 times. And actually, I did not have pan in it when I started. And if you can see that, I have some good pan. So that's exciting. <clears throat> I like, I, I, I got a lot of use out of that because I can wear it over other primers. And then I also pulled my two Ulta primers. One is just a normal silicone based primer. I wore it 15 times. The other one's a matte primer that I would only wear under certain foundations that I knew I might get a little oily with. So this one I wore 11 times. And I don't think I really am in love with these, but I want to use them up and just get them done. They're, you know, not, not anything spectacular, but there's a ton of product in these things. For concealers and primers, I pulled three. Um, I had a NYX Dark Circle Corrector, a CoverGirl Outlast All Day Concealer, and an Ulta eyeshadow primer that was, it's almost done, and it's actually kind of drying out. I don't know if you can see the gaps in it. And I really need to just try to either revive it with some eyedroppers or call it quits because it's, it's so dry that it's hard to blend out now. But <clears throat> I used my Ulta primer 14 times and I used my CoverGirl Outlast concealer 23 times and I used my NYX Dark Circle corrector 20 times and I got a really good dip going on in that so that's exciting and I also realized I think for next month I'm gonna pull two options because there was a couple there were a couple days where I would go in and pull other concealers when I didn't want to wear those so that's why the number probably isn't quite as high as I might expect it to be, but yeah. Now, for powders, I had two powders. I had the Maybelline Fit Me powder, and I didn't really mark where I was when I started, but you can see it's a good little about to right here now, and it was pretty much brand new when I started using it, so I think that's, that's a good little dent. <clears throat> I very much enjoy that powder. It was newer to me, like I said, when I started using it. And then there's this guy. This is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Powder. It's, just, it's supposed to be a pressed powder. This thing crumbles and crumbles and crumbles. I've repressed it twice now. I'm going to try one more time to repress it and this time I might mix in like a drop of oil with it just to see if... I think it's breaking up because it's so dry. But I'm very annoyed with it. <clears throat> I used the pressed powder 12 times and I used the Fit Me powder 23 times. For foundations, I pulled three. I had my Maybelline Dream Mousse foundation. I used it five times and I have pan on it, which is pretty exciting. Um, yeah, it's not my favorite. It's a little. It's not, it wears really nice, like throughout the day, I feel like it, it's the kind of foundation that looks better on my skin later in the day than maybe when I first apply it. But this one is so annoying because I have to put it on like with my fingers. And I, I don't know, it's a little, but it's different than putting on like a BB cream with your fingers. This is, it's so thick that it takes a little bit of t work to get it on. So I wasn't really enthused by that. Then I had this It Bye Bye Lines foundation, and this was pretty much brand new when I started, so the little pump was down here. So I didn't use a ton, but I used it nine times, and this one is one that I thought I would like more. I feel like I, I've seen so many positive reviews on YouTube, but for me, it settles into my pores so bad, and it also breaks up on my nose so quickly. I'm gonna use it all the way up and I'm gonna try it with some other primers but yeah I'm not I'm not a huge fan <clears throat> and then my last foundation was this 
professional like the it's like a liquid and I wear I wore this over my ABH cream contour kit but I wore this sorry um, seven times and it has a little sponge too at the bottom and I actually kind of I really like it over the cream contour kit when I'm done with it I don't think I'll repurchase it but if I shine a little light up here I'm not gonna be able to see it I I'm surprised but it was like up to here when I started and it only moved like a little bit um, I'm so surprised how long this is lasting me like I just I kind of assume like it's so liquidy it'll go really quickly it doesn't and it has I do kind of like the process of shaking it up and using it <laughs> all right now my cream contour kit was one of my bronzing options and I'm actually wearing it today what I do is um, it helps I had to go buy a I forgot to pack like a beauty oil or, or, and so I went and bought an oil helps if I drop like little bitty little bit of oil on and then take my brush and then kind of put it where I want to and then blend it out with a sponge and then I and you do the same with the, the highlighting shade and then I go over the top with this and I used my cream contour kit 10 times and I even kept track of what shades I used the most and so <clears throat> my most used shades were actually I've been trying to focus it's probably easier to see with this off I I was this one's a better shade match for me I do think this is the fair kit and I do think I'm I probably should have purchased the light kit but I like this highlighter shade so much and it's not in I don't think it's in the light shade uh, in the light kit but uh, I used this one the, the most this I didn't use this at all I only focused on this one and then I use these two over this one just to try to these two because they're a little lighter I'm like well let me get through these first and then I'll enjoy this shade since it's a better match for me but yeah I, I very much enjoyed it and I could see myself I'll, I'm, I haven't decided yet but I'm probably gonna put it in October's as well and then my other bronzing option was my Butter London Trio and I always have trouble getting this thing open uh, so it has a contour shade, a bronzer, and then a shimmery bronzer. And I used this, oh well, uh, 23 times, which I very much enjoyed. I do think that it's a little warm leaning. I'm not wearing it today. Uh, I think it's a little warm, and I think it looks a little bit better on me, maybe in the summer or when I have a fake tan on. So, um, yeah, it's good though. I like it. I used this was the only blush palette that I had uh, I did like on a couple filming days reach for like another option but I wore this blush palette 25 times and <clears throat> and I let me look at which one I used the most oh yes okay so yeah I can see that I used this gold highlighter more than I used the pinky one in here um, and I also realized that I totally pull for like this exhilarating shade and this cool tone shade here the most which I actually was surprised because I'm very drawn to these two too um, I did pull for fortunate a ton fortunate is a very good one but yeah I was I'm I was so surprised because when I bought this palette I actually kind of bought it for oh it's got like this great neutrally shade it's got another like kind of mauve neutrally shade and I thought I would wear those so much more and they were yeah let's see skillful and uh, angelic they were actually uh, in the top like the bottom three used the the least used one that I did was dainty the shimmery one right here and I just wasn't really pulling for shimmery when I want a shimmery blush I tend to pull for my Laura Geller blushes so I very much enjoyed this uh, I do think this is one product that if I pull like a blush, this blush palette, I don't pull anything else with it because there are just so many options in this thing that I could literally probably never go through this. <laughs> and then for highlighter, I had three options. I had my ColourPop Wisp highlighter and I, I really enjoy these ColourPop formulas. I think they help me out because I have a little bit older skin that this cream kind of powder powder formula looks a little more flattering on me so I really enjoyed this this is a great color dupe for uh, Becca's opal and I wore this eight times and then I also wore I, I pulled a lot of eyeliners 
I pulled my Sugar Palette and my Aurora Glow Kit, both from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I wore my Sugar Palette more. I wore it 11 times. And the shade I pulled the most for, which is not a shock to me at all, is this Gumdrop shade. And let me see if I can do a little swatch. It is this really pretty, like, pinky shift highlight. I really, really like it. And then I wore my Aurora palette eight times, which is actually really good. I'm wearing this Spectra, the purple shade, today. Let's see. I'm so excited because picking this, I was like, I really want to try to wear this white color. This white color is probably the most intimidating color. Luna, it's the most intimidating color to me because it's white. It's so stark white. And so I found out, though, that if I put this on first with a fan brush, kind of not too intense, my fan brush kind of shears it out a little bit more, and then I go over the top with Wisp, it looks so nice. And so I really liked wearing this a lot. Next, I'm going to talk about my liners and my brow options, which I might have forgotten to show this in my actual video, but these were the two that I let myself use. So for brow options, I had this brown liner that I'm not really a fan of, but I figured I will slowly try to use it in my like eyebrows. And so I would put this in my eyebrows first. It's definitely too light for my brows. <laughs> and then I would go over the top with this e.l.f. Uh, eyebrow kit and this is also too light for my brows but it kind of it's not too noticeable I'm wearing it today and I don't think it looks too crazy but when I started this elf palette had zero pan in it and now it's got really good pan like that's a lot of pan I was very excited by that <coughs> and then I also used this is kind of my go-to when I want some quick brows and more dramatic brows this is my Benefit Cabral, and it's a very dark shade, and I don't know if you see, but I, I really don't know if I could ever go through this. I've owned this for over a year now, and I feel like I use it all the time, and I have a really good dip going, but I'm not even used, I'm not, I haven't even used a quarter of this thing. It's crazy how much product is in this, this brow uh, pomade. So then I had two eyeliners and my black L'Oreal one I used eight times or yeah, 13 times and then I used my NYX Wonder Pencil 10 times, which they're great. This one's a little soft, so I don't know if I'll buy this particular one, but still good enough to use up. <clears throat> Alright, so I used my Ofra setting spray 18 times and when I hold my little light up here, I can see through the packaging I'm about right here. And I think maybe when I started, I was somewhere up in here. So I maybe used uh, about an inch worth of product up, which I am surprised by. So that's cool. I've never actually measured product uh, progress on a setting spray. And then <clears throat> I did use one fragrance this month. And this was my Winter Candy Apple. And I used it 20 times. And I want to say that I was up to here somewhere. So that's a pretty good little dent. And now... Probably my biggest category, I have all my lip products, so we'll go through these. So I had uh, one <clears throat> Cool Tone and one Worn Tone uh, lip bullet lipstick. So my Cool Tone was Buxom's Dolly, and my Warm Tone was this Lorac Pro in the color Autumn. And if you can see this, uh, Buxom Dolly was down here, and then I used it up to that line. And then <clears throat> Lorac Autumn, I used it up to that one right there. So that was pretty good. And then, and I wore those, I only wore Dolly uh, seven times, and I wore Lorac Autumn only four times, so that's pretty cool. And then, <clears throat> so the reason why there's not a ton of progress on those is because I tended, I was tending to wear this Ulta Bomb a lot more. I was trying to use it up and actually I'm so surprised that there's not more progress on the sheet. I wore my Ulta Bomb like 18 times and if you can see right there is where we are. Yeah, so it's not it's not nearly as much usage as I thought would be on here because I, I was like lathering this on. <clears throat> I used this Revlon Bomb seven times and 
I made more progress with it using seven times than I did my Ulta Bomb, which was very surprising. And I'm actually pretty true to, to form since from what I've seen, I, I have another one of these in the peach flavor and it goes very, these go very quickly. Then I used an e.l.f. lip scrub three times <clears throat> and I made a little bit of progress. That one's over here, right there. So yep, I'm enjoying that. It's newer to me. And I only wore Stila's Baca one time, which for me is really good. I don't really tend to like liquid lipsticks and especially this is more of a bold color. And I think I was focused more on fun eyeshadow looks and I tend to kind of either do one or the other. I either do really simple eyes and a fun lip or really fun eyes and like a new, neutral nudie lip. So I'm satisfied with one, one time use, but I would, I would probably put it in another project pan soon or not a project pan, another makeup basket soon. And then I used Buxom Celeste nine times and I was actually really surprised by this. So this one was pretty new to me as well and it was really far up here to the top and then now it's kind of down to here. So that was exciting. I can see visible progress and that to me is so satisfying. And then my last one here is Casey Holmes Palladio collab in the color Georgia and I wore this four times and again for me because I don't really like liquid lipsticks uh, the fact that I wore it four times, I think, is a big testament to the product. I actually really like it and think it's decently comfortable. So, yep. And so that is everything. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe and say hello in the comments. I'd love to meet you. And thank you so much for watching.